Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can customize the assistive uh, touch on your iPhone. Uh, this is for the iPhone 11 Pro running iOS 13. Now with assistive touch, you can easily access to useful uh, features and functions uh, with the tap with your hand. You see you can uh, a single tap or you can double tap and this will allow you to access certain functions. Now first, before we can uh, get it on your screen, we need to turn it on in the settings menu. So go back to your home screen, then tap on the settings icon in uh, settings. We want to tap on accessibility, then go down and tap on touch. Next, at the top here, tap on assistive touch switch to turn it on. Once it is on, you can uh, tap on customize top level menu and in here you can see by default it should have around six icons like so you can remove them by simply tapping on the minus button or the plus button so you have you can uh, remove them until there is only one item left if you want more um, shortcuts in this uh, assistive touch you can tap on the plus icon or if you have somehow messed up the default, you can tap on the reset button to reset everything back to the default. Now you can see in here, the default is the home button, control center, device, notifications, custom, and gestures. So those are the six default icons. If you want to have more, tap on the plus icon. And in here, when you tap on the plus icon, it comes with, up with a square with a plus sign. Now this plus sign indicates that you can tap on it to select an item. So in here, what can you choose? So you can see six items has been grayed out. Control center, custom device, gestures, home, and notifications. It is being grayed out. That's because you have already um, selected them from out here. So in here, you could choose accessibility shortcuts, analytics, app uh, switcher, double tap, lock rotation, lock screen, long press, mute, pinch, which ability, restart, rotate phone, screenshot, shake, SOS, speak screen, spotlight, voice control, volume down, and volume up. So um, let's see what you want to, let's we see what we can do. I'm going to select app switcher, for example, and tap on done. So you can see now I have add an app switcher, so I can app add another one in here up to eight icons are allowed so i'm going to tap on the plus icon and then i'm going to tap on the lock screen and then tap on done so lock screen is uh, useful when uh, if you're having difficulties pressing on the power button or the side button we can tap on this one here and then just tap on a lock screen and that will lock the screen so in order to uh, turn back the screen again if you're having difficulties Press it on the side button, we can just double tap on the screen to turn on the screen, then tap on tap on this assistive touch and this will bring up uh, the menu. Okay, let's go back into settings and then see what other things that you can do. Now, if we tap in here, you can switch it on and off. You can also tap on here. I think we can also tap and hold and rearrange. Let's see if we can rearrange the items around. So, see if I can touch um, so you, if I long press on this I cannot rearrange them so we cannot rearrange an items in here so perhaps if we delete an items and then we can uh, rearrange by simply uh, ch changing the icons so we cannot rearrange but what we can do is like let's say if you want to move the home button to the to the top we can tap on that one there and choose that one as home so we have to change this one to something else lock rotation and then home and so that's how we can rearrange them around we cannot just tap and drag them around we have to actually select different icons okay so let's go back here and then you got the single tap double tap and long press so single tap I'm going to open up the menu right here as you can see double tap at the moment has nothing so if you tap on a single tap you can see um, it have other things that you can choose so instead of opening up the menu, you can also ask it to um, turn on the spotlight, for instance. 
So let's say you don't you only need to use this assistive touch um, for a spotlight. You can just tap on that. You turn on spotlight. Uh, if you want to use it for uh, voice control or volume up or volume down, we can also set to that as well. Uh, if you want to use that one, the home button, the button as a home button, you can set it to home. So if I tap on it, it will take you back to your home screen. Okay, so that is a single tap. Otherwise, we can leave it as a default, which is to open up the menu. And when you tap on that, the menu will give you more options. Okay, if we tap on the back key, we can have double tap. If we tap on double tap, we can choose what um, for what it, uh, what to do. So okay, here double tap times out is off. So we can say if I double tap on this one here, we can um, see what we can do. So perhaps double tap go to the home uh, home screen. So if I double tap on that, that will go back to the home screen. And if I do a single tap, that will open up the menu. Then you also you got triple taps as well or long press. So this one here got long press. Long press at the moment is set to none, so you can choose uh, what to do with a long press, um, perhaps um, analytics, so if you long press on that. So this one here is a gathering uh, analytics, so otherwise we can say long press to bring up the control center. So long press and this will bring up the control center. Again in the control centers you've got more shortcuts that you can use. And then if we double tap on that, we go back to the home screen. So those are the different things that you can do or how you can customize uh, your assistive touch. They are very useful uh, in terms of uh, helping you avoid pressing the buttons and you can even restart the phone uh, um, by setting the assistive touch. So in here, it's, uh, instead of uh, choosing app switcher or choosing um, lock rotations, I could choose restart. So it is a good idea to sometimes restart the phone. So we're going to choose that. Then if you tap on the menu key here, tap on restart, we can restart the phone as well. And that's it. So that's how you can uh, uh, customize your assistive touch on iPhone 11, 11 Pro running iOS uh, 13. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.